Hey everyone, Nate with Grower's House here, and I decided to bring actually a few different products to review today because these products have been making an impact on the market, especially for propagating, um, seed starting, and vegetative growth. And what these are, what I have with me today, are LEDs. And not only that, they're LEDs that are really going after traditional forms of lighting like HPS, metal halide, um, T5 fluorescence, things like that. So I wanted to show them off to you because these, these really are the lights that are pushing the envelope in this regard. And they're not extremely expensive like you might be used to seeing LEDs uh, a few years ago. So I wanted to start off with, honestly, one of my favorite new LEDs that just came out. They're from Horticulture Lighting Group. They're called the Quantum Boards. Now look at this LED. It is literally probably three or four millimeters thick, um, potentially even less. I'm not even sure. Um, this is actually just a 65 watt LED. And the cool thing is, I mean, this thing, you can buy it in different Kelvins, uh, 3K, 4K or 5K. So if you want to use it for veg or for propagation um, or even for flower, you can. I mean, with a 65 watt LED like this, which comes with a driver, basically for most of you people that are used to ballast, just think of this as your ballast. And it also comes with, you know, hanging hardware. So the cool thing is um, with this, with this driver, I mean, you simply plug it into this end and you can turn the light on, which I might as well go for right now. Whoa. So here is this little guy turned on and it is very bright to the eye. I mean, these things work really well. The cool thing is you'll notice there are two driver inputs and that's actually because you can daisy chain these lights. But if you do, recognize that you're putting the same amount of power through it. So if you have two of these with one driver, you're basically covering more area, but not really using more power. Uh, there are slight small differences, but um, really not too much. Now, the cool thing is this 65 watt LED is only $99 we sell it for. That's delivered. Um, and this can cover like a two by two foot area for veg or for flower. Maybe I'd say more of like a one and a half by one and a half or a two by one foot area. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this now, but what they've been doing is using these two brackets and actually hanging this fixture vertically inside of their tents for side lighting. It's, it's really one of those extremely versatile lights just because of its form factor, how inexpensive it is and how easy they are to run. Um, the cool thing is this is the 65 watt version. They also have the same thing in basically their 100 watt version, which is 149 and just comes with a slightly, slightly larger driver. But this thing weighs like nothing and it is super thin. So if you have really low, uh, basically ceiling height um, or tent height, or if you have like multi-layer racking for propagation, these can fit right in there. No problem. Daisy chain them, not a worry at all. Um, we've been, you know, loving these lights so far, so I'd highly recommend them. So let me put these guys down and we'll move on to the next one. So the next thing I really wanted to show everyone is how these basically T5 lights are getting replaced by T5 LEDs. So if you take a look here, this, what looks like a T5 light, is actually an LED light. And this one is, I believe, the 5500 Kelvin, so really good for like vegetative growth. And the cool thing is it's only 41 watts per LED. So when you're rocking 41 watts per LED, you gotta compare it to basically the 54 watts that you're getting with a normal T5 lamp. So if you think about it, this is basically a 30% reduction of light from your T5s, and this is giving you a bulb that's going to last much longer than a T5 lamp. T5 lamps usually last about a year and then they go out. This guy is probably going to last you like five years. So, you know, the cool thing is they don't even cost that much. They're usually about 20 bucks for these where you buy a normal T5 lamp and you're probably paying, you know, usually they're about 10 bucks. So you pay twice as much, but it will last five times as long and it's 30% less power. And the cool thing is, um, they're actually designing these LEDs with very specific spectrums. What I also really want to do is just show how this works. I mean, if you think about it, when these are running 54 watts, um, if you do 54 watts times four, this fixture normally ran at 216 watts total. 
Now you change it out with all of these and you're at 164 watts. And the cool thing is I have 5,500 Kelvin here, good veg spectrum. And then here I have um, one of the lights offered by Sunlight. By the way, these are both the Agro LED by Sunlight. And there are a few different companies that are offering these. The Agro LED is what we have here. And you know, we've really liked them so far. This one is actually a UV based bulb. So what I'm gonna do is turn this on for you really fast. I'll probably blind the camera, but we'll get some good shots of it. And there you go, looking at that white spectrum, the one that's really good for veg, and then boom, now we're turning on the UV spectrum. And now you can see that you can make a really nice mixed spectrum if you want, and be able to operate these same T5 fixtures that you might already have in your house, um, or your growing operation. Um, and we're using it with the Grow Crew normal T5 fixture where you can change on two banks. And that's it for the T5 fixtures. But that leads me into the next fixture that I really want to chat about, which is the Grow Light fixture. So the Grow Light, um, you might have known them from making the, uh, the Grow Light 8 inch air cooled reflector. Um, but they've actually gotten into LEDs and they're making a light for for vegetating and propagating that's um, maybe very similar to what you've seen in uh, industrial and commercial buildings. So this is actually one of them. If you take a look at this thing, also extremely thin. If you take a look at this, the fixture itself, probably half an inch. And then you have the driver here, which might add another inch and a half. Okay, so we're probably talking two inches thick total. And if you look at this guy, it's about one feet by four feet. So almost made to mimic the same size of this fixture we have here. And it comes with little built-in hangers if you wanna hang it um, here on every corner. And this fixture is only 40 watts. So this fixture is actually the same amount of wattage as one of those T those T5 LED bulbs we were just looking at. Being 40 watts, this light might not be great for vegetative growth because the intensity really isn't there. But for propagation and seed starting, I think this is going to be an amazing fixture. So because of this light's form factor, I think this light's gonna be really great for people that need to make sure they have a slim light to fit inside of those tight multi-layered racks and just wanna save on electricity. Because at 40 watts, replacing something that's used to be 216 watts, potentially down to 164 watts with the LED replacement T5 bulbs. Now down to 40 watts, you're talking a huge savings. Now let's turn this on so you guys can take a look and see what the light looks like coming out of this guy. And here we are. You can see it illuminating the light below. And I'll point it towards the camera a little bit. And you can see it's a nice white diffuse light makes it very easy for you to uniformly light your plants, which is what you really want. You want even consistent light over your canopy, no hot spots and no what we call dead zones where you don't get a lot of light. And now one of these fixtures is, you know, we're selling it on our site, you know, they're usually ranging about $130 ish, give or take. And they actually make different versions of this. So this is a one foot by four foot, it's 40 watts. And they also make a two foot by two foot that's 40 watts, or they make a two foot by four foot that's 68 watts. So there are different uh, basically setups for you depending on how large your, your uh, area is that you want to illuminate. And these are the new LEDs that are kind of taking uh, the growing industry by storm. They're helping people save money, illuminate their plants better and um, really just kind of save space as well. So you can maximize uh, your, grow, your grow environment. And not only that, you know, T5 fixtures like, like this used to be going for about a hundred bucks, so $130. And you're going from 216 watts down to 40 watts to maybe do propagating with your plants. There's a huge savings uh, in electricity for a very small markup, maybe an extra 20, 30% on the front end. So, you know, that's it for today. I wanted to show you those LEDs. This is Nate with Grower's House. Happy growing.